Hey guys, today I'd like to talk to you about an idea that's really near and dear to my heart, okay? And this is the idea of apathy, all right? So I kind of dismissed apathy as just like, well, you could say I was apathetic towards apathy. It's like, what's the big deal? But I came to learn it's a massively big deal. And part of it just being massively is because it's just not really discussed. So it's kind of lurking and it's kind of sneaky. But it can really jack up your life, ultimately your health, okay? So let's talk about this. There's a couple levels of consciousness. And this has been thoroughly studied by Dr. David Hawkins, who wrote books like Power Versus Force and Letting Go, etc. So he understood there's different energy levels associated with certain consciousness levels, okay? And energy level, energy meaning like the ability to like do work or to create change, right? Just like energy, you know, I'll talk about in your basic science or physics courses in high school. All right, so the lowest level consciousness being shame, okay? Meaning there's like no real energy if you're operating in that consciousness state. And shame is really this idea of like not good enough. Uh, fortunately, that's getting some attention, thankfully, to people like Brene Brown that have really made that more of a mainstream thing. The next conscious level above that is guilt, okay? Now guilt, um, I think always kind of got a lot of attention. I'm mostly Irish, like guilt just comes naturally and it's something we talk about, especially with like, you know, my Catholic upbringing. It's like guilt's an easy one. That's another one, low conscious level, nothing really positive is gonna change there. But the next level above that is apathy, okay? And apathy is, well, it feels like you're protecting yourself so apathy feels like a shield because it's like i feel safer like i'm less likely to be hurt um and that might be true consciously but subconsciously like you're still going to hurt things that you say like it's fine what's the point it's not a big deal like your subconscious is like it's a big deal to me like this matters right you're consciously you're saying it's fine your subconscious is like it's not fine i'm actually pretty wounded by that kind of hurt right and so that's the disconnect apathy kind of disconnects you from yourself okay and apathy the dangerous thing is like, surrender is very healthy that's high consciousness state but sometimes you think you're surrendered but you're just apathetic okay and that's a tricky one to figure out i want to talk more about apathy i want to talk about the um it's like an analogy i use to teach on this okay and why it's kind of dangerous so Think of like a ki kids playing a soccer game. And what shame essentially is, is like you sidelining yourself saying, I'm not good enough, so I'm not gonna go in there. Guilt is like, um, I was out there before, I messed up, I'm just gonna remove myself. So it's not that I'm not good enough, it's like I don't deserve to be out there. Well, apathy is you on the sidelines saying, game's stupid, what's the point? Or, you know, who cares? It doesn't matter if I go in or not, right? And the thing is, you say that as a little kid because you're looking at the game and you're saying like, I could trip and fall and get hurt. I could embarrass myself if I mess up. I could lose and feel like the crushing feeling of defeat. And so apathy says, this is safer to sideline myself, right? And the analogy is like, the game is life. And those three consciousness states are things that keep you from participating in the game, right? Which is life. So it's true when you participate in life, you can get hurt, you can fail, you can embarrass yourself, right? But also all the other good things that come from participating in the game, all right? So you can go out there, you can play full on, experience all the highs and lows, or you can say, not for me, all right? And that's what's really dangerous about apathy is it goes kind of unnoticed and we don't even realize we're not living. We're not participating in life, which is going to keep us consciously from feeling some of those negative feelings, but it's gonna keep us from feeling all the feelings, which then makes it harder to learn what's best for you. It's harder for you to connect. It's harder for you to experience joy ultimately. So that's a short little thing on apathy. I think apathy is really important. Maybe, maybe I'll write a little book on it one day, who knows? All right, well, love you guys, bye.